Hey guys, RC here. <clears throat> Another night of insomnia. Woke up at about 2.30 this morning. And uh, luckily my cat George, I was about to get out of bed. He came and laid with me, which he rarely does. And kept me in bed for a couple hours. So now it's 4.15. So I decided to go ahead and get up finally and come downstairs. And said, oh, well, let me play some football and record another episode. So anyway, welcome to Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, and this is episode three. I recorded the two first two episodes the same day, and a few days have gone by. In fact, episode two is going up later today, right? So uh, I had been given some thought to how I was doing things and I don't want these to drag out you know because I'd like to play many seasons in the save because it's a it's a career dynasty uh, so what I'm gonna think about doing and I'm gonna try this uh, for the rest of this season is I'm gonna split the season up into basically five game five or six game brackets and I was thinking four, and then that would get, make each season, regular season, be four episodes, and then we'd have a fifth episode for a playoff. But I think I want to go to five and then just kind of do a quick recap, look through standings, look through some stat leaders, and, and go that route naturally we'll spend more time on our club but if you guys ever have questions about hey how's how's such and such a player doing <clears throat> let me know and we'll we'll certainly take a look so some of the early comments uh that i got on episode one were regarding player ratings uh and dak prescott i think has a 92 overall rating certainly He's not that good. I mean, he's he's a and, I, and I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I love the Dallas Cowboys. I have, I, you know, I've, I started rooting for teams. I started choosing my teams around 1975, 76, 77. You know, when I was eight to ten years old, and I was old enough to understand, you know, who players were and um, and and then gravitate towards certain players and teams and whatnot. But um, Dak is not a great quarterback. He's a good, serviceable quarterback, kind of like Andy Dalton, um, you know, Matt Ryan. But he's not a Drew Brees. He's not a Joe Montana. He is not a, you know, Tom Brady or anything. No, he's not even close to that. He can't carry the team by himself. So to have a 92. So anyway, one of the questions that, you know, one of the questions that came up was, you know, the ratings in, in this game are are way off. Yeah, I don't know how they decide on the ratings. And, and, you know, the ratings are what they are. You know, it's kind of like Madden. You know, when every year when a Madden game comes out and, you know, the NFL players go ballistic that, oh, my God, he's, you know, I should be a 100 rated player and, you know, my speed is too low, and yeah, it's just, whatever, dude, it's a game, get over it, <laughs> but uh, somebody uh, had asked uh, about Patrick Mahomes in particular, so we'll pull him up here, that's why I'm on the Kansas City Chiefs, so he has an overall rating of 86, uh, now, keep in mind, he's got one year under his belt, right, so he had a great first year, was that luck, was it a fluke? Is he that good? I mean, keep in mind, he's a Big 12 quarterback coming out of Texas Tech. Big 12 quarterbacks don't have a great track record in the NFL. So let's see him do it for a second year. And then, you know, PF21, you know, they can adjust that and make him, you know, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. But anyway, uh, somebody had asked, so I wanted to pull that up so you guys could see it and uh, take a look there. Uh, now, his skill is a 96, but his overall rating is an 86. And remember what we talked about in Episode 1, the way that this game is geared, when you look at the ratings, 
This is an 86 out of 100, but it's based upon all the quarterbacks in the league, not just on your team. Uh, so again, like football manager, uh, the, the soccer game, when you're looking at star ratings on players on, you know, that's based on your team. So you could bring in a guy that's Lionel Messi and he, he may be a five star, but his five star knocks everybody else on your club down to a, a, a two or a three star. Uh, whereas if you don't have Messi on your team, you could have another guy, Joe Schmo, that could be a four star and he looks great, but everybody else on your team is a three, three and a half and a four star. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all based weighted towards what your team looks like at that given time. So, but this is based on every quarterback in the league and it's only by position. At least that's how it worked in the first release and the college game. So I'm assuming that that has not changed. If anybody from Wolverine uh, does watch this video or any of you guys that have pl that play this religiously can verify or debunk that in the comments, let us know. Uh, but anyway, there's Patrick Mahomes. Uh, let's go back to... We're going to go... Well, I guess i got to close the player card. So when we left, we were three games in. So let's go back to week four. And Dallas shut out the Redskins 20 to nothing. We take a look at the box score real quick. Uh, Tony Pollard, player of the game, 18 carries, 77 yards and a score. Demarcus Lawrence, three tackles and one sack in the win. Uh, let's see, Amari Cooper, a seven-yard pass. Pollard, the one-yard, a uh, five-yard run. And, boy, I certainly wish the uh, icons showed up in here. Not sure why they don't. Again, if you know why and I can fix that, let me know in the comments how to do that. Uh, obviously, they're in the game, and I haven't changed anything, so I'm not sure why those wouldn't show up. Uh, 16 first downs, 322 total yards. We held them to 239. 13 of 32, not a good game. Uh, Dak, 12 of 25, so not even 50%. An 80 rating with the one touchdown, 12.6 yard average. But, uh, yeah, not looking good. Ezekiel Elliott, only five carries for 23 yards, so not sure why he's not carrying the ball. Uh, one of the other things, since we're looking at that, uh, if, we, if you go into your, when you set up your league, you can set up to be just the general manager where you just make the player movements and you hire a coach. And then your coach handles the games. So remember, we can play the games out, but not in GM mode. We can, you know, we can watch the little two-dimensional, but I talked about that in episode one. I, I just find that mind-numbing and don't think that would make for a good YouTube video. Um, and I've watched, you know, part of a, a episode where somebody did that, and I, I watched about 30 seconds and went, I'm done with that. Um so anyway, that's just my preference. So that's why we're doing it this way, just kind of talking about results and going through things. And we'll, you know, as we advance, we'll start blowing through this a little bit faster. But, you know, since we're still early in the series, kind of wanted to talk about it. And we go through it a little bit. Haskins, 20 out of 35. Uh, not a bad game for the rookie. Uh, so that is uh, that game. Uh, going to week five. Uh, we got blown out by Cincinnati, 14 fourth quarter points. We lose 38-21, and Andy Dalton, five touchdowns, 26 out of 32. Eric Berry, 10 tackles for the Bengals' defense. Uh, we did have 18 first downs. We gave up 493 yards, uh, 28 out of 42, so a little bit better game for Dak. Uh, let's see, 28 twice is 56, so that's probably about a 60 to 65% completion ratio just with, uh, with real quick math, which is probably wrong. Two touchdowns and 99.1 rating. Dalton with a 149.2. Pollard again, 19 carries, 97 yards. Dak Prescott, two for 11. Um, middle note, I want to go look at Dak after we go through the scores, 
Uh, week six, Pittsburgh destroys us 30 to 14. Ben Roethlisberger, 294 yards. Uh, let's see. DeMarco Murray with a two yard run, the ex Cowboy finding the end zone, assuming that's for Pittsburgh since our logos don't show up for some weird reason. Only 12 first downs, 2 of 11 on third down, couldn't keep drives going, 240 total yards. Prescott, 13 of 26, no touchdowns. Ezekiel Elliott did uh, have the bulk of the carries this one. 19 for 50, 2.6 yards a carry. Eh, not too impressed with that. Uh, week seven, and again, because we were, I was talking about going like five games. Um, I think I went. Uh, I went. Yes, I went through week eight. There we go. All right, so these should all show up, I guess. Well, I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we lost that one. Then we beat the Giants, seventeen to seven. Jones, eighteen of forty. 161 yards, one touchdown, two picks for the rookie. It's not a good sign when he uh, he was the leader in passing. 15 first downs, 300 yards, 199 passing. Prescott hit Gallup for a 12-yard score and Hearns for a 3-yard score. So not a bad game. 17 out of 27. It's again, you know, around 60%. So we're doing all right there. Elliott up to 5.1 yards a carry. And uh, just to kind of finish an earlier thought. So in my game, the way I set it up, I'm just the GM. I hired a coach. The coach runs the game plan. So if we go into strategy, yes, you can only adjust. Your, oh. Well, that's fine. I'm in my own team, right? Hmm. Well, that is my, my team. I was able to get into it earlier. Oh, well. So, anyway, I couldn't change anything, suffice to say, because of the mode that we're in. And that's fine. That's what I was looking to do. I wanted just to be the GM. So if we look at the standings, we are four and three. Philadelphia is at six and one, leading the division. We've actually given up more points than we've scored, so not happy with that. They're on a six-game win streak. We've won one. The Redskins have lost five. Looks like Daniel Jones has taken over that starting job in New York from Eli Manning. They're three and five. Uh, Detroit leads the way at seven and one in the north green bay at six and two on a four game win streak saints and falcons with six wins apiece and they're looking good and don't forget the west we have to scroll down for that and uh, the niners at five and three so they're doing all right over in the american Bengals at seven and one are shocking the american league north or afc north Cleveland at two and six. I don't think that's what they're expecting this year. <laughs> just to, just a guess. Uh, Jacksonville seven and one. Indianapolis two and six. Just out of curiosity. Uh, roster. Andrew Luck, eighty four rating. Oh, they signed Colin Kaepernick. Hello. I guess that could happen now. I don't know if they will do that, but I guess they could. That's interesting. I hadn't even thought about him being on anybody's club. Uh, 95 passing yards, so he's not the starter. Who is starting? Oh, well, Luck, Luck's starting because he hasn't retired yet, um, which was really bad news. I was stunned, stunned. Oh, my God, Andrew Luck's making 1.8, and they signed Kaepernick for 3.8? I think if I was Andrew Luck, I would retire. Um, anyway, where were we at? Uh, standings. And we were looking at the AFC. There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hello, AFC. Okay, I should be able to. That should change all this, I guess. But, oh, well. Uh, da, 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 the Jets at 6-2. and two, Looking good. Patriots 4-3. and three, Still early in the season. Buffalo sitting on the goose egg. Wow, only 95 points scored through eight games. 
<coughs> the Chargers at four and three, Chiefs at four and four, and the Raiders three and five. So that's a little bit surprising. And let's jump into uh, player stats. Uh, yeah, let's look at all conferences. So Aaron Rodgers leads the uh, NFL with 2,276 yards. Matt Ryan of Atlanta with 2,100. Prescott with 1,952 is third. And Jones is fourth with 1,895. Uh, let's see. Jimmy G, 1,691. Trubisky, you know who I don't see up there? Baker Mayfield. <laughs> don't see him. Uh, Breeze with 13 touchdowns. Tied with Aaron Rodgers and Matt Stafford. Prescott just won off that pace with Wentz. Winston, surprising, uh, with 12. Teddy Bridgewater with 9. Wow. So I don't know if Breeze got hurt. His status is okay. I wonder why he's played so much. Interesting. Breeze's overall rating is 95. Okay. Uh, Stafford with a 100 rating. Prescott top four. Rushing yards. Nobody from Dallas in the top 10. Who's that? C.J. Anderson? Isn't he the guy that played for the Rams last season? I don't remember. I thought he played for the Rams last year. But he's with the Lions, 773 yards. Uh, Jaquez Rogers, boy, I liked him at Oregon. Uh, he's with the Bears, five touchdowns, 768 yards. Eric Decker, Green Bay, 905 yards. Crabtree in Philadelphia. Meredith, wow, that's Cam Meredith. Interesting. That's not who I would have expected to be leading the Saints. Uh, Alan Hearns, 706 receiving yards in the top four. Uh, kickers, you can see that. Tackles, Khalil Mack, not surprising, 69. Eric Reed, uh, safety, not bad. A couple of cornerbacks. Josh Norman's not a big tackler. Come on, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's that, no way. Uh, sacks, 11 for Brockers. Wow, Michael Brockers from the Rams, 11 sacks. You know who's not up there is his teammate, Eric Reed, five interceptions. So, boy, he's been busy. Uh, Sherman, also five. A couple of Minnesota players, seven combined. So, that's uh, there's your stats, your team leaders on offense down here. New Orleans, uh, Cincinnati. Jacksonville, and if we look at team defense, Jacksonville with a top defense in the league, Seattle against the pass. That's surprising. So this is kind of how I, I foresee going forward, uh, the way that we've done this. Uh, we're about 18 and a half minutes in. Um, at this point, if you guys have asked questions in previous episodes, keep in mind I'm usually two or three episodes ahead but I can, you know, certainly if you ask questions, uh, and I may not stay that far ahead because these are pretty quick to simulate um, and, you know, and to record. So I may keep these a little closer to the vest where I can keep up with questions and be timely with them. Uh, so if you have questions, if you want to see certain players, uh, Pro Bowl, I just want to kind of look through some of this stuff, team stats, um, okay, so yeah, we haven't looked at team stats. Cowboys, uh, fourth in passing, seventh in, in passing touchdowns, fifth in rushing yards, which, yeah, that's not surprising. Receiving yards, total points. So we're right outside that top five. Uh, tackles, sacks, uh, we're not anywhere on the leaderboard. Uh, we are right at the bottom of the leader list in interceptions, so that's all right. What else? Anything else worth looking at in here? Um, I guess we could look at transactions. I wish there was a way to break these out, but um, 
free agency. Free agency. So free agency was like right before the season, right? So that's preseason week one. There's your releases. A lot of releases that week. All right, we did have a trade. Uh, this this should probably be reversed. Oh, can I reverse it right here? Hello? No? This should probably be reversed where the most recent week is at the top. Just, you know, just a, th a suggestion to the guys at Wolverine. Just, you know, if you want to be able to just kind of glance at that and see the most recent stuff without going through everything you may have already looked at. Uh, oh, Shaquille Griffin got released. If I remember correctly, yeah, Central Florida defense cornerback. He's the guy I think with. Uh, he's the brother that has one hand. He was born. He was born. No, he had it. He had to have his hand amputated, I believe, uh, when he was very little. Um, that's sad. I, I would have hoped he would have made it. Uh, we released Jamel Showers in week one. Uh, I don't remember doing that, but okay. Rico Gathers, we released him. Oh, you know what? That's when we did that auto. Uh, oh, Amara Darbo from Michigan. Ooh, that's a bummer. 68. I might want to go sign him just because he's a Michigan player. Oh, well. Uh, so first trade of the year, Josh McCown. For Paxton Lynch, why why is it listed twice? I don't know. Interesting. A hey, Wolverine listed a trade twice. I'm pretty sure you can only trade a player once, so not sure what that is. Uh, but anyway, Paxton Lynch now with uh, and you can't click on him like everybody else. Weird. All right, so anyway, that's their uh, league media. Oh, here we go, power rankings. No, we don't need to do that. Performers. I guess. Okay, there's no rhyme or reason to that because they're not in order. Interesting news, magazines, team news. All right, we still have 17 million in cap room. I do need to go in and look at uh, free agents, so I'll do that between episodes. And uh, all right, so that's interesting. We looked at stats. I think that'll be the the big thing to uh, to look at. That's the almanac, so that's going to be past years. Uh, let's see. All right, so that's not my team. That's my team. Okay, so I'm the general manager. I wish I was making five point three million a year. I wish I was making one tenth of that. <laughs> uh, new contract for Cornell Brannon. Uh, he has no years left. So he's making three million. He's got a reputation of sixty-three. So, yep, I need to look at these guys. Uh, volatile attitude. Hmm. Two and a half star. All right. Well, we'll have to look at some of these guys. Silent conservative, a fifty-two hybrid. Vertical hybrid, power hybrid, three-four. All right, so I'll have to look into this. <laughs> we do have to look uh, at re-signing or, or if we're going to hire new people at the end of the year. Uh, we need to look at our roster. Uh, the free age. Oh, we don't have any upcoming free agents this year, so that's good. Nothing to worry about there. We've looked at our statistics. Whites appeared in two games. Okay, so Elliot has started five games, but he only has 70 carries. Okay, here's an easy contract screen to look at. 
So basically we have everybody signed through next year before they become free agents. So that's good. Uh, depth chart. Training strategy. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's what it was. I was on a different team, and it doesn't automatically revert back when I click. I think it should. Just a suggestion, if you're controlling a particular team, even if you're looking at another team, it should always go back to your home page um, when you click on something else, because that's telling the game that you're done. Uh, but you can see everything is grayed out. Uh, you can choose who to run things. But that's it. That's it. Uh, so let's see. Cornell Brannon is our head coach. So let's look at his profile. Morale, scouting, potential. He's three and a half star on coaching the offense. Uh, he is only one star coaching the defense. He's three and a half star and one and a half star. So, you know what? I want to go into there and I want to change that. I want Brooks to be handling the offense. Now, see, he's got Alan Hearns as the primary receiver. We have a bell cow backfield, which is basically a primary back. Uh, let's see. And, I mean, I think your defensive coordinator has to run, has to run that. So, um, all right, so we're going to save and activate. Because, yeah, I want these guys. I mean, you should let your coordinators run their run their team. All right, trading players, sign free agents, uh, scout next draft. Um, we'll figure this out. So I don't remember exactly how to do this. I remember there was something weird about it, so I'll have to figure that out on the fly. Team info. There's our... Schedule, not doing well. Season recaps. That's okay. That'll be like a historical. That's our team history against uh, for win loss. And there's our team records, team news, off season items. My cat fell asleep and almost flipped over. Um, all right, so that, okay, here's our draft pick. So we have all of our draft picks, but this is where if you trade them away or you gain new ones, you they would pop up in here. All right, guys, well, I think that's it. Let me know what you think of this current format. And this did drag out. I mean, we're right at 28, almost 29 minutes. But I, I think if we do, I said, we'll, we'll probably talk a lot, just kind of get a feel for the game because, you know, I want to help you guys get a feel for the game too. But once we kind of get rolling, it'll be just kind of the game recap, you know, the game recaps, look at the standings, look at stats, and then we'll have a few minutes we can look at one or two players that you guys want to highlight if you ask in the comments, and then we'll move on to the next uh, next sim. And again, we'll do probably three sims a season, <clears throat> and then we'll do a postseason wrap up, depending, you know. And if I make the playoffs, if not, it'll be just like a one game for our team. And then, you know, the t uh, playoff review, see who wins the Super Bowl and, uh, you know, looking at stats e each time. But again, if there's anything you guys think that we can tweak this to make it a little bit better, because like I said, this is a work in progress. Um, if you guys like watching this, great, but give me some feedback. And let me know what you guys think, what you want to see. Is there something else that we can do a little bit different? But anyway, thanks so much for checking out another episode. Uh, first episode has gone up uh, the other day. I think we're at 38 views, which is you know really good for my channel. Um, 
you know, for the stuff that I normally put out. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but anyway, hit like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications if you want updates uh, in your feed when uh, I post new stuff, which is pretty much daily. Um, and we'll go from there. See you next time, guys. Bye.